Hey! Quick disclaimer. The views and opinions expressed in this video are mine and mine alone and are not the result of any influence from whoever I may work for, be contracted to, go to church with. Y'all get the gist. So today's going to be kind of short. I'm waiting on a load to get ready. I'm no longer in Corbin, Kentucky. I am uh, currently sitting in the Walmart parking lot at, in Boaz. Boaz, Alabama. Hey, y'all. Anyhow, I made a couple people's day in there. Young lady was helping me a few months ago over sporting goods as I was getting ready to walk away. I said, hey, you know, you and I got something really important in common. She kind of looked at me and I said, it ain't, for, it ain't our love for Walmart. I said, it's the fact that Christ died for both of us. And uh, it made her day. I'm sure all of us has gone to the doctor for a physical. Or I've got a heart doctor appointment next week. Don't worry. Nothing really going on. It's just my PCP uh, being cautious because of my diabetes. And that my mom, my dad, my grandmother, a few other people in my family have all had congestive heart failure. So, hey, I'll give you an update afterwards. But, uh, so when the doctor goes to listen to your breathing or listen to your heart, they pause the conversation for a minute. They need silence so that they can hear good. When you have an EKG ran, you have to lay perfectly still for, I don't know, 20, 30 seconds. Still and quiet. I heard a, a Southern Gospel song last night. Well, it was probably early this morning on my way down here to Alberville, Alabama, picking up a load going to Russellville, Arkansas. Hanging out in the South, baby. But now I... Uh, it said, let him hear your heart. God knows the desires of our heart. Now our head can say, I want this and I want that, and when we get it, it ain't what we expected it to be. It's kind of like, you know, I've always wanted a job working in a warehouse. Well, you get that job working in a warehouse, it's hot, it's dirty, you're under time restrictions and constraints and all that. And a month or so in that job, you're thinking, ah, this, this ain't what I expected. So you start looking for another job. It's kind of like me and truck driving. At first, I kind of wanted to do it because my dad, my brother, my uncle, a few other people I knew were truck drivers. I thought they made good money. And uh, I've always enjoyed road trips. Who don't, right? Uh, although my cousin, her husband, and my uncle had kind of a rough one a while back. It was beautiful, but they ran into a lot of obstacles. And you know, that's the other thing. When you desire something in your head, you might face an obstacle or two. But when it's a desire coming from your heart, the old devil, he knows what you want. And he'll throw obstacle after obstacle after obstacle in your way. But why do we keep pushing up? 
We keep pushing on because it's our heart's desire. I remember a story of a young man madly in love with this little old gal. And they went out three, like five years. And after about a year, every, every few months or so, he'd ask her to marry him. And she'd always say, let's not ruin what we got. Let's just keep it like it is. But see, when we desire something with our heart, we're not okay with the everyday norm. We always want better and better and better for ourselves and the ones that we love. So when we get still and quiet, Lord, it's laying on the table for the doctor to listen to your heart or Run an EKG. Or just still and quiet with an open heart and an open mind. See, it's often the mind that disturbs that stillness and quietness. It don't want to shut down. It wants to keep going. Your heart is ready for some still, quiet, relaxed time. But your brain is still going, Oh, did I pay the light bill? Uh, uh, did I make my car payment? Am I going to have enough to make my car payment? Am I going to have a way to work next week? Oh, they're talking about layoffs on my job. Am I going to lose my job in the next month? How am I going to pay my bills? Your brain just keeps, keeps firing on all this. But I tell you what the heart wants. The heart wants to shut down every once in a while, take a break. Because when your brain is doing all this, it increases your heartbeat and your heart has to work harder. Some people meditate. And you know, meditation's a good thing. But if you can get your brain to start thinking about the good things in life, the good things that's going on in your life, and get your brain to listen to your heart and say, hey, his word says all good things come from God. Then your brain is a little more willing to shut down and say, okay, God, what do you got for me next? And then that stillness and quietness that we can hear God the easiest. You may be listening to relaxing music. For man, it's listening to good music, going down the road. And it don't have to be Christian music for God to talk to me. I listen to a lot. I have a very eclectic taste in music. So, I listen to almost every type of music there is out there. I've even been to the symphony, been to the opera, dated a rich girl. Again, another relationship of infatuation. That, when her daddy got transferred with his job to Canada, she wanted me to go with him. And even though I'm a truck driver, I'm not all that crazy about snow. But I digress. So when does God hear your heart the loudest? It's just like your doctor. When you're still and quiet. And, and God can always hear your heart. But when can your heart hear the most? Be in the closest contact with God. It's in that stillness quietness. When you can shut out all the distractions of the world, you'd be amazed at the conversation your heart will have with God. Let Him hear your heart. 
and you'll hear his. To steal a line from my church pastor, God loves you, I love you, and there ain't nothing you can do about it. When you have that stillness and quietness with the Lord, then you might find just like mad at church, at our church, you are too blessed to be stressed. Peace, I love you, God loves you, and remember, you see someone having a bad day at your local grocery store, let them know that you love them and God loves them. You just might change someone's life. You just might plant a seed. All we got to do is plant the seed, and God will do the watering. Love you. This has been episode three. Drive safe out there.